In this video, we're going to run through how to configure Trimble Business Center so that you can download Rhinex data automatically from the VRS data server. That might be Rhinex data for a virtual VRS station from which you might wish to correct a PPK survey or use as part of a fast static network, or indeed to download data from fixed stations such as those in the UK from the Ordnance Survey GNSS network. Here I'm running Trimble Business Center version 3.21 and to begin with you will need to start a new project or open an existing one. Here I've started a new project. The tool that's required to perform the configuration is on the survey ribbon. I have the survey, survey ribbon here uppermost at the moment. And on here, I'm going to select internet download. The internet download panel will appear on the right hand side of the interface. And from here at the top, I'm going to click on the internet download configuration button. Okay, so having done that, we get the internet download configuration panel appear in the center of the screen, showing a variety of groups of pre-existing data servers that have been configured already within the software. First thing to do is to create a new group, give it a name, any name you like. The key thing is in the next field down for the type section to pick virtual reference station download. If it's a virtual based download that you wish to configure. Hit OK and we now have a new group in the list. Now we need to paste a new site into that group. So press the new site button, new site properties dialog appears. Give the site a name. And enter into the manual connection box. If working in Europe, www.vrsnow.de. I'm just going to copy and paste that into the automatic connection box and add the port, port address of 2120 to the end. Next, I'm going to select the option for the protocol for the iGate VRS station download. This tab is now complete. You can then move on to the security tab where you need to pick the restricted option access option and here you need to put in your registered organization name that's registered with Trimble for the VRS service so here's my organization name and then a forward slash and then a VRS user account login and the associated password that goes with that login. Remembering that all of these entries are case sensitive. Lastly, click on the iGate tab and put that port address in there again for 2120 if connecting to the VRS data server in, in Europe. Hit OK and that configuration for downloading Rhinex data for a virtual VRS base station is now complete. If we want to configure a second site for downloading data from fixed stations then the procedure is very similar. Again we start with a new group And in the type 
box, select reference station download and then OK. Again we need to make a new site that will belong to that group and I'm going to enter the details manually. Put in a site name again, same details as before www.vrsnow.de which I will copy and paste to the automatic connection tab. Ah, made a typo there, got too many T's. Let's just remove that. And here also, here we go, HTTP. And on the end of this one, the port address of 2120. The protocol this time is iGate Reference Station Download. We can skip over the contact tab, but you can put your organization details there, in there if you wish. Uh, into security, same information as per, per the VRS download point. So start with your organization name, which is case sensitive, your VRS login name, and your VRS login password. Uh, the reference station tab, again, you can skip over and finally click on the iGate tab, enter the port address of 2120 and hit OK. So now we have both options configured within Trimble Business Center ready for use. The VRS base point download will allow you to download automatically from the VRS Now server Rhinex data for a position of your choice. The second option will again allow you to download data for a time period of your choice uh, with a increments of, of one or more seconds for the uh, sampling intervals and uh, again it will do this automatically for you based on the data that you've already downloaded into Trimble Business Center. So there we are. If there's any questions regarding the uh, process, then you can contact me via the email address shown on the slide at the end of the video. To complete this now, I'm just going to press OK to close the dialog. Zoom out. I can close the internet download dialog and we're now ready to proceed with some survey data processing which we'll cover in another video.